Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so sorry, um, I had to uh, use my cell phone because um, my laptop um, really um, is not communicating very well. So um, having that said, I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, say uh, thank you for uh, watching my videos. Um, all about my comment in between commentaries and preaching. Everything I do um, is uh, really helps you out um, in um, bringing out in bringing um, the best um, in yourself in having to um, try to have an inner self in in your life. Now, I'm about to do a commentary all about Daniel, God is with us. And uh, you know, every boundary always has to have a line somewhere. In other words, you can't cross somebody else's line. And at the same time, not to allow that person to take advantage of you or you take advantage of the person in a way in which you may think it is all fun and games, but it is not. Now, for instance, and as I have said on many occasion, if somebody knows, if the person you know wants you to use a credit card for somebody's gas money when the person is flat broke, you can't use your own credit card for somebody's gas money. Just as I did when a friend of mine named Brian, when a friend of mine um, whom I knew since high school um, were about to head to Lansing to see his own family at that time. Fortunately for me, I got to stay and meet with his family um, who used to live up in Lansing and still lives in Lansing right now for one night before the same friend even took me out to see a movie which was good and in the end when it was not so good from the beginning and that was how I have had to learn that the hard way about this. Now, there are also some lines we still can't cross in order to work extremely harder, while at the same time, you can't allow anyone or anybody to, to be taking advantage of you. As to what I have been told and heard over and over and over again, Nothing is ever going to be simpler in real life than even especially when you have to make a decision on when and how to not cross that line. That's dangerous to me. Now, as, I, as opposed to what I did in my younger years, Daniel in the Bible did not cross the line. Say, um... The food that he was eating, for one. Now, there have been some stories about this and speculation about food and theories about food when these stories do not have any perfect theories. Say, um, I talk about the Jewish food um, for of um the meals that most Jewish people can and can't eat, so they did not borrow any wine at all. And another would be the meat that is absolutely not clean and the way that it was um, hard to do with it because of the way the food has not been cleaned at all. The same with vegetables, too, in Babylon. Now, one last thing. Um, 
since every food um, was unclean, you don't want to eat them all, which led to the, which led to the kingdom of false God. Think about that. That is something um, you do not want to get caught up in. All right. Thank you.